in an interview with Jennifer Lawrence, just published in a modest academic quarterly called Vanity Fair, <laughs> the actress took control of the conversation and put an important question to her own interviewer. Do you like Curb Your Enthusiasm, she said. Do you like Larry David? I'm in love with Larry David. <laughs> And I have been for a very long time. Oh, Wait, smart kid. It gets yeah. better. <laughs> I worship Woody Allen, but I don't feel it way below the belt the way I do for Larry David. <laughs> I like the use of the word way. Way, below yes, the belt. yes, way. <laughs> so the, Maybe she's referring to her knees. <laughs> <laughs> Any reaction, ethical or otherwise? Well, I would say it's a, it's a shame that I'm about 40 years older than she is. What? You know. what? Oh, no, no. I, 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 don't, I don't think. Uh... This is a magazine that, cov that published Nabokov, so don't, don't worry. It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know. Immense relief. Uh, on the one hand, it's the... very flattering. On the other hand, it's kind of a shame. Yeah. 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 <laughs> In terms of timing. In terms of timing, yes. yes. OK. But I, I think I would have fun watching the reality shows with her. <laughs> I think that would be fun. The Housewives of Atlanta, you know. There, we want to, I want to sort of find a way to discuss the, the whole of Larry's career. And he grew up in Sheepshead Bay in deepest, darkest Brooklyn. This is correct. This is correct. Son of Rose and Morty David. And we were yes. just as we were coming out. I asked you, did your parents ever go to see you in your early days, very brief, as a, as a stand-up, struggling stand-up comedian at places like Catch a Rising Star and all, all those places that were so uh, popular with your peers in the, I guess, in the 70s and, and yeah. so on. Um, so they must have been there every night to see you and support you. Oh, not once. <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't let them come because if they saw me bomb, they would have jumped off a building. Yeah. That, that would have been the end of it. I flew him out to Los Angeles once. Front her, of the plane? Front of the plane? First class, front of the plane. I flew him out first class. I put him up in a beautiful hotel overlooking the ocean in a nice suite. And uh, I called my mother. I said, all right, I'm going to come pick you up for dinner at uh, you know, 6.30. And she said, we're at the Days Inn on Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to fly me first class, Larry. <laughs> I don't need the hotel like this. <laughs> so, you know, they went to a $50 a night hotel. Yeah, yeah. What did they want you to be? When you, you were growing up in Brooklyn, your fa father was in the, in the um, as we call it, the uh, schmata business. Yes, no? my father was in the garment business, yeah. yeah. What did he do? He's, I, he sold uh, men's clothing. Garments. Garments, yeah. suits, sport jackets, mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. Um, all the stuff I had zero interest in. Right. And um, my mother actually wanted me to be a, uh, a mailman. She, she, that was her dream. <laughs> best, best case scenario, you know, because, you know, you, you they have benefits, uh, you always have a job. Right. And, uh, you know, I don't think I would have been a very good mailman. So, the, 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 uh, no, that credo of the never, the, the sleet, the rain, the hail, the snow, the hail would have gotten me, for sure. <laughs> I would not have delivered in hail. I, I would have called the boss. I would have said, I, I know about the creed, but it's, it's hailing out. Uh, <laughs> are you crazy? Boom, that'll kill you, that hail. For more of the New Yorker Festival, subscribe to the New Yorker channel.